All right, this is going to be a quick video on the Polygon Editor inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, I think it's one of the most overlooked and underused plugins in the system. So first thing I'm going to do is type in Polygon Editing and enable it. Click Yes. As always, do a project backup before using this, da 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 da, -da because it may mess some things up because it's still in beta, you know. And restart. And we're just going to wait for that to restart. I'm going to pause the video to save you guys some time. So, if I can find my pause button. Right there. And just like that, you guys saved about 40 seconds of your life. So, what we're going to be doing is, for an example, I'll be taking this uh, vendor shed or trade shop. And I'm going to be cutting out this square box. So, what I'm going to do, after I enable the plugin is I'm going to click on this mesh, find it in here, and what I like to do with all of these because there's a chance you can mess things up is right click and duplicate it. And then I like to give this a name at the end called underscore chopped. You can name it whatever you like. I like to put chopped in them. <clears throat> then I'm going to open that up. And with this mesh opened, I'm going to go to my mesh editing. I'm going to go to edit mode. And you may have to enable LOD settings here as well. Uh, this may not work, but it may. So what you do is you just you just click and hold and drag it out like this. And use the delete key, the one that's paired with the insert, just to delete this off. And then you're going to want to go all the way around this. And the undo key is going to be your friend in this. Because you'll see in a second you have to get all the angles. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting all the triangles that's involved in this, and they're multi-sides. So you can see there's still sides from this angle here. So you got to take your time and try to get them all. Without getting the other pieces, of course. So you don't want to get any of this stuff. So you want to spend some time on this. And make sure to get all the angles, because you're going to miss some starting off. I'm going to do a rough job here just to get through the video with you. But you'll see what I mean. Make sure you get the underside as well and the backside. See, I just grabbed some of this by accident. Just control Z if you grab too much. And you can start fresh again. So you can see I need to get rid of this. And very important underneath. See, I didn't even get to the underneath because this is multi-sided. So we'll get rid of that. Just make sure you work all the angles. You can spend a long time. I've spent like 45 minutes getting a guitar done. So... I want to grab all of this junk. I'm going to do the best. See, I got the back again, so Control Z. Make sure you only get the thing you're trying to get rid of. Just like that. Get every single side. See, I didn't even touch the back. Get rid of that. I'm probably cutting some things I shouldn't be at this point, but I'm just going to get you there. So we'll assume you guys took your time. You got every single triangle. Everything is good. It's not for me, but it will be for you. So I'm just going to get rid of this, some of this. Oh, Control Z, got too much. You see what I mean? Basically, spend some time, get rid of all the stuff you want to get rid of, that entire mesh. It's kind of addictive. I meant to stop and keep going, but I want to get it all now. So we'll get rid of this. I'm just clicking on these different triangles and deleting them with the delete key. And delete, 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 delete. Alright, that's good enough. So when I'm done all this, I'm going to save it by file save. I'm going to go back to there, save it here again. Sometimes you're going to get an error when you come in here saying your LOD settings. And you may have to set that to zero, or you may have to set it to auto, and then save it again. But I didn't have any issues with this mesh. If you do, just let me know, and I'll help you with it. But it's just a matter of switching this to zero, I think, and then proceeding. All right, so once you have your mesh all chopped up, if you already have the mesh in your world and you want to replace it with your new one, super simple. Click on the one in the world, go to your magnifying glass, find your chopped one, and then click on this little arrow, and boom. Just like that, switches for the, switches it for the new one. Click Save. 
and it's just like that. You now have a chopped up mesh. That's all there is to it. If you need any additional help, just reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you. Have a great one.